All right, so I've never played this shoe before, but I've always been pretty curious about how it would perform on court, and this was the perfect time to try it out. So today's episode of Do They Still Ball, we're taking a look at the Reebok question. Let's get into it. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Do They Steal Ball? Of course, I am Mike from the Sneaker History Podcast, and I want to thank you for coming on back to check out episode two of Do They Steal Ball? Now, if you hadn't done so already, hit the subscribe button down below, drop a like, leave a comment, and of course, hit the notification bell, so that way you know when new videos like this drop. Now, just in case this is your first time here, take a look at the link up here to check out the very first episode where we tested out the Jordan 1 to see how it performed on court. Now, today, guys, Again, we're looking at the Reebok question, which released in 1996 for, of course, one Allen Iverson, who's one of my favorite all-time players. And I've always, again, looked at this shoe and said, man, AI can do all this stuff on court. Although it was 1996, how would they hold up in 2023 or, you know, whatever time frame after that? Now, this is the perfect time for me to come in and really try it out because I have a lot of questions sitting around. And I was like, you know what? I can at least take one of them and put them on court to see if they actually, you know, how it, how it performs. I can really get a feel for it. And I must say, guys, I was really surprised by the outcome. Now, before we get into it, you know what we're gonna be grading off of. Materials, weight, comfort, traction, and court feel. Now, don't forget, traction and court feel are one category, so we're going four, and we're gonna be grading from a zero to five rating. And at the end, we're gonna figure out if it's playable or not playable. Now, first things first, material. With the material, guys, you see me review tons of questions, and shout out to the Reebok family for always holding me down with some great pairs, guys, so I really do appreciate you guys. And you guys know, I'm always a fan of the materials on the question. I've had seen a bad pair they've doing their thing over Reebok make sure the materials are good so it's of course just like we saw in the last video I love a good leather basketball shoe and Reebok does it very well they have a great leather upper here you're gonna have a really nice soft leather up top while giving some structure with some synthetics around the heel and of course on the top of the tongue now along with that the tongue is gonna be an open cell mesh of course and it fits really nice and soft on top of the foot so overall I have to give the materials on a question five out of five and I know I don't really give perfect scores but this is a perfect mix of the mesh the leather and of course we can't forget the suede on the toe box just the layers the comfort the protection you get on your foot I have to give it a five out of five because i felt really just secure and comfortable inside this sneaker now next up we're getting to the weight now the sneaker is a little heavy again it's a basketball shoe from 1996 it's gonna have some weight to it and clearly you can see the way the sole is set up it is gonna be more bottom heavy than anything else so it's not really evenly distributed so with that i would have to say weight wise i didn't feel like i was lugging around like a boot or anything like that but it wasn't the lightest thing i put on but at the same time AI was out here flying, crossing people over left and right with the sneaker. So it could have been too heavy. So with that being said, I'm going to give it right in the middle of a three or weight. Not too heavy, but not light. So we're going to give that a three. Next up, we're going to get into the comfort. Now, I was a little worried about this because this is not the original setup with the, I guess, real hexalite it's gonna it's a bit of a different hexalite setup than what they typically use back in the ogs but still want to give it a chance put the shoe on first of all you guys know how i went with the jordan ones i felt like my feet still hurt from that i have to tell you that this is probably one of the more comfortable retros i put on on court now they're fairly comfortable when i walk around just casually so i expected kind of the same thing but again i'm doing different movements but with these i actually felt pretty comfortable the whole time i was playing whether it be you know, cutting, running, jumping, I never had an issue. So with this, I'm gonna have to give the comfort actually a four out of five. So I'm very surprised by this. Again, trust me, I expected to go in more of a lower number, but I have to give these a four to five on the comfort scale. All right, so next up is gonna be traction and court fill. So we're gonna talk about the traction portion of the grade first. And I'll tell you this, looking at the traction pattern here, I did not think this was gonna be anything like spectacular. I was actually kind of scared I was gonna slip and slide. Now, although the rec center I play it has very nice clean courts, this pattern just didn't seem to really scream traction to me. Like you feel it, it feels like it's kind of hard sometimes. It's just like, I don't know, that wavy pattern just doesn't scream like it's gonna really bite on the court. But I was surprised. Now I wasn't like super traction, like where like in the words of, of Mike when you're Chris, or pop your hip out of place, but it actually held on the court super well. Like I was very surprised, pleasantly surprised at that. These things stuck on the court. Now you're gonna see B-roll now of me doing, I guess what they call now the shuttle runs, but we know what it's really called. I just can't say it on YouTube, I think, without getting flagged, so we won't say it. Uh, but that running, stopping, running, stopping, that was the perfect test. And these really, again, held the ground and did superb. Now, on top of that, the court feel. 
Now the court feel, I knew it wasn't gonna be something like one of the low profile shoes I'm used to because of the stack height. Look at, you look at the shoe, it's gonna be stacked up a little higher than what we saw. Uh, you know the previous review or things like I said I like to play in like the Kobe's or Kyrie's but I was like you know what if Allen Iverson can move so well in the shoot it had to have some court filling he couldn't have been sitting up so high and I I was right I mean that's substance correct because get into the shoe now it's not gonna be the best court fill in the world because again it does have a pretty solid stack of foam and the hex light all that good stuff inside the shoe but it's good enough I'm not feel like I'm gonna roll an ankle I'm not feeling like I'm about to topple over my shoe so with this between traction and when it comes to the uh, court feel, I'm gonna give this a 3.5 out of five. So I was very impressed by this. Now, I put, of course, all the grades here on the screen somewhere. I can't remember what I did last time. I think I did it on this side. Um, you gotta check this shoe out. This is playable and so much playable is gonna go into my rotation. I have enough pairs of these where I can use one as a hoop shoe now. This is gonna go in a rotation. I'm gonna play in these more often. That's how playable this shoe is. I was impressed overall by everything about this and I'm just more upset that I haven't played in them before so if you've ever questioned about hey should i play in this shoe is it, uh, is it does it hold up after all these years most definitely and reebok puts enough question retros out that you can have your pick of the litter and you can probably find a good price on it so i think it's a great basketball shoe i think it's great materials everything about it is playable so check these out again reebok questions i'll leave a link down on reebok's website of course you can see everything they have available now and i was again just blown away now, if you play in the Reebok question, have you not? Leave your comments down below, and I'd really love to hear from you guys. Love to hear your thoughts, your feedback, because this has been probably the most fun I've been having filming in a while. And I really enjoy these. I want to do as many as I can, you know, as many retro basketball shoots I get my hand on it, at least. But you guys, let me know what you think. And until next time, guys, see ya.